The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello everyone, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I am your host, Ruth Moniu. Today we want to discuss about self-esteem. To achieve a personal improvement, you need to have positive mind. For us to achieve goals that we set in our lives, we need to have the right focus. Many a times, our youngsters, our mothers, our fathers, they lack this self-esteem. If parents can lack self-esteem, how about their children? Can they ever attain anything in their life? We have a youngster who is going to tell us of our experience of her self-esteem. And also we have a pastor who is going to guide us through the good book. Our pastor Wimana, he's here to tell us what God expects from a man. Can man have self-esteem and live and be happy and successful in this life? Pastor, say hi to our viewers. Yeah, I want to thank God for you. Uh, viewer who's with us this morning and I'm very hopeful uh, because as we're talking about many different topics that are connected to your spiritual life and your heart, you are continuously learning to know exactly what God wants to, uh, to be, what, what God wants you to be in this generation especially. And I hope even today also we can get to know uh, the heart of God through our discussions. Thank you so much and welcome to our show. Our guest will tell us who she is and what she does in her life. Asante sana. Um, my name is Masi Nyawira and I'm a student from Zitek University. Thank yeah. you so much and welcome to our show. Thank you. Our SMS line is 21144. Talk to us. Have you ever been a, a victim of self-esteem? Masi. Yes. Uh, as a beautiful girl, as you are mm -hmm. a youngster, I'm very sure you, the only, the few years that you've lived in this world, you have experienced so much. And uh, today being your day to share with us of your self-esteem, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can tell us, uh, how did you realize yourself and were you happy to find that you were a girl and this, you can do this and that? Okay, yeah. You know, Growing up as a young girl, I was alone by the way growing up, so I grew up as an only girl. So, in your home, yes, mm -hmm. so it was only me and my mom. And growing up with this um, adolescent stages, mm -hmm. I developed uh, acne, mm -hmm. so it was all over my face, my, my front, and the back side. Mm -hmm. So I was in class six. So everyone was like, why? And at times, what will you see? You see all those. <laughs> uh, and you came to believe in that? <laughs> yes, I believed in that until I was in class eight and then I was in class eight. Until one day, my mom told me, until one day, my mom told me, until one day, my mom told me, Ata mimi nilikuwa nazo, and your dad too. So by the time you, you are 20, 21, zitakuwa zimeisha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's so funny because as zijaisha and I'm over 21. <laughs> but sasa, mm, I had to believe in myself and ni accept they are part of me mm -hmm. na hazita isha until venye tunaendelea kugro. Mm -hmm. Atakama mom, my mom anasemanga alikuwa nazo, she doesn't have any. Mm -hmm. So, um, from my peers kuna wenye, unaona, mtu, the face is so, akona spots za black mm -hmm. sana. Mm -hmm. And I avoid so much kujangalia kwa kio, ndiyo nisione, the, my faults. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> many guys, they like carrying a mirror in every other time they want to update themselves. I don't. Don't you feel odd? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Um, mm. Okay, it's something I 
trained myself not to. So mm -hmm. maybe ni jangale na smartphone na smartphone yangu si zi jangale na kio ama I pass ni pitie tu kio but si zi jangale si zi beba kio I don't even do makeup mm -hmm. so because. <laughs> I don't know if it's my mom or it's me, but I'll never be a kuji paka paka. Hizo vitu miki kwa uso. As the things that zina niaribu. So, I avoid it. Ata si jipaka nge anything, by the way. I don't. Kenya tu na jipaka ni mafuta kwa mikono na kwa migu and my face. Iko tu evo for the rest of the day. Si jipaka anything. A good one, so. It doesn't take myself. So you are not expensive. No, I'm not expensive, mm -hmm. and I don't dress up in a time of. Mm -hmm. But nilikuja tu kujia set, nikajua, mm -hmm. having these pimples all over me, mm -hmm. ni part of me. Na, by the way, me over eh, short sleeve. Yes, na vanga short, short sleeved. Mm -hmm. Na, I don't feel offended. Yes, you na si feel feeling like uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. June is just set and it took some time. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, it started in classics. Yes. At what time did you accept yourself? Uh, by the time I was in form three, form two, mm -hmm. that's the time I I tried to to wear an open clothing mm -hmm. because my dad also against that because he he always told me. Ati mbono unataka watu waone effect za nyoko nazo kwa mwili. Na mimi na muambia, um, mwili ni yangu, but easy, it's part of growing up. Mm -hmm. So itabidi tu nizoe na nijifunze kuvua nguo, um, any clothing that is comfortable, mm -hmm. na niweze, ndio ni, niweze ku move on na ku grow up mm -hmm. kama msichana. Mm -hmm. And it took so much. I mean, my mom always talked to me alikuwa ananikalisha chini ananiambia hata sisi we pass through this mm -hmm. na kukuwa na pimples na hizi vitu zote doesn't mean that you are different from other people so by the time i was in form 4 nilikuwa sasa naweza kuvaa sleeveless mm -hmm. na is a vest mm -hmm. and i guess that the time sasa nilitikia kabisa sasa Azita Isha, because <laughs> they are there to stay. Yes, mm -hmm. when Nikua from four, I was uh, 19, so I was like, I'm going to go two more and then these things will disappear. Mm -hmm. But they haven't. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about if you meet with somebody who is lame? Maybe he's lacking an arm, um, mm -hmm. a leg, or maybe an eye. Can you compare yourself with such a person? No, I can't compare myself with them. <laughs> Why? Because you are better than, than them. I don't feel like I'm better than them, mm -hmm. though at times I feel, yes, I am better than them. Mm -hmm. But you see, this person doesn't have an arm or a leg, and the only thing that I have, me, I have pimples. And well, I think I have to give thanks to God because <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to, like, to walk, go limping or something mm -hmm. or complain to God, mm -hmm. why am I like this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we are living in a very competitive world. Mm -hmm. And if I don't compete with you, then I think I'm a loser. Do you think you can compete with those who don't have pimples? You know, I, I had a friend in high school. Mm -hmm. Her skin was so soft. I, <laughs> I always asked her, like unatumianga nini siniambie tu ni sabuni gani unajipakanga ndio pia mimi hizi vitu ziishe mhm alafu ananiambia sijui mafuta zingine zinaitwa jeza uso ate i don't even remember the name and then naenda nanunua until now my mom told me stop so you could buy anything An anything everything. yes anything if i ask you tell me unatumia fair and lovely i'll go and buy nijipake and then they are worse Ama kuna ingine, my aunt, she's a, she works in a chemist. Mm -hmm. One day she recommended a dawa fulani, and then I bought. Mm -hmm. And then, uku, I started turning brown. Naona, 
na kuwa kuwa meupe is like usangu na bleach. Mm -hmm. So I had to stop. That's I mean that's the time now I said no. I won't do this anymore. Mr. Mm -hmm. Kiku bleach. <laughs> <laughs> so aguna haja ni jipake mafuta na hizi vitu azishi. So like yes there was a time I was feeling like I want to be like someone else mm -hmm. and I, w I don't want to be me. I don't want to be this body full of pimples everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think when God created you, when uh, those pimples came out, do you think God was punishing you or <laughs> you made a mistake? Mm, no, I don't think I made a mistake. I believe he made me in his own likeness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So you, you can appreciate God in whatever condition? Yes, now I, now I can. Now you can. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you this idea to accept yourself? Did it just develop? No, it, it didn't develop. With the help of my mom mm -hmm. and mm, my, her, okay, I'll say she's like a sister to me, though she's my mom's younger sister. Mm -hmm. She have them, she have the pimples too. So, tuna, tuna shikana, tuna ambiana. with these pimples, Kenya tuta kuwa tunafanya ni kuoga tu uso. Alafu, either zi, ziishe ama zikate kuisha, mm -hmm. tuta, tuta katu hivo. Mm -hmm. So it ni kitu ina grow too gradually. Mm -hmm. And now, sipilingi yanko kota Okay, as a young girl, mm -hmm. and maybe you have a, a future, yeah. what do you feel when you are in a group of your, your peer group, maybe the opposite sex? Are you, are you comfortable? Do you feel like you believe in yourself? Yes, I'd say I'll be, I believe in myself most times, but there are times would have feel you're so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you behave? Do you fa kind of hide yourself or no. avoid <laughs> going out? I don't go out occasionally, but when I do, I'll go out and smile. I just smile. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. What would you encourage other girls who may be having the same problem? Maybe they are not confident, they don't have that self-esteem. You see, all I will tell girls is, with this, uh, our bodies are so different. I can't compare, your, I can't compare myself to you mm -hmm. with the way you're built. Some of us are slim, some of us are fat. Okay, I'll say fat. Mm -hmm. and yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> you may say that. Yes. And so we are so different, mm -hmm. but you just have to accept yourself the way you are. Mm -hmm. And and try to move on, try to grow up like a young girl. Mm -hmm. Being a girl has so much to, than it, being a girl, you'll have so much fun mm -hmm. than to just sit and cry mm -hmm. over some acne that ain't going away. <laughs> <laughs> so it can be, you can, <coughs> Maybe you can be their uh, role model. <laughs> Teach yes. them how to live and how to overcome such kind of a condition. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I want maybe our pastor to guide us here. Pastor, we have people who are disabled and uh, maybe some are disabled more than others. And uh, like our guest, she's a complete bill. <laughs> She's okay, she has yeah. no problem. No problem whatsoever. And <laughs> still, there's this kind of a feeling, I have this condition. Uh, when God was creating us, he created us in his own image. Should we dis uh, kind of complain before God for such kind of defect? Okay, I really uh, think that uh, if there's something that man can do is to receive the word of God. Mm -hmm. The greatest work that man can do in this world is to be able to accept the word of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the word of God says I'm perfect, then I'm perfect. perfect. I should be able to say amen to that. Mm -hmm. If God said uh, he created me without any lacking things whatsoever, mm -hmm. I should not feel as if I'm lacking. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm very sure people feel some lacking and even they don't see any value in themselves. They despise themselves. They are like, uh, you know, uh, always count themselves as uh, inferior to the others. Mm -hmm. This is uh, uh, all these things are taking place because people are disconnected with the heart of God. Mm -hmm. 
But when you think about God who has actually blessed you and who is together with you, who has made you the perfect man ever, regardless of who you are outwardly, you know. You know, actually you can, uh, I was talking to another person because uh, Sunday I heard the word about this uh, Mephibosheth. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible speaks about him and he was lame mm -hmm. on both legs and uh, also, uh, you know, he was the grandson of King Saul mm -hmm. who always chased David. Mm -hmm. But then when the pastor was speaking, he said, uh, you know, uh, the conditions for Mephibosheth to be blessed were not in himself. Mm -hmm. The conditions for him to be, to be blessed were in the covenant that was there in between David and his father, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I went to a home visit and I was talking to this uh, one lecturer from the university and they say, hey, what do you mean by this, uh, you know, uh, lameness and blindness? Do you mean uh, uh, like physical blindness or physical, you know, lameness? Mm -hmm. I said, no, spiritually we are blind. Why? Because is a blind person. Mm -hmm. A blind person will know there's a ditch after falling into that. Yeah. A blind person will <laughs> know that the wall is there after knocking the wall. Mm -hmm. That's a blind person. Yeah. In the same way, actually, blind people spiritually, right, they, you know, they encounter, I mean, when they hit <laughs> with something, you know, mm -hmm. a certain situation, something that is, uh, you know, or like, uh, you know, destructive in his life or her life, when they hit that, that's when, oh, kumbe, it was like this, right? Mm -hmm. When they have fallen into sin, is deeply rooted in sin, that's where they discover, ah, you know, I've fallen again, mm -hmm. you know? They know after, afterwards, those are blind people. Mm -hmm. You know, a lame person, let's say somebody who does not have legs, even though he doesn't have legs, his mind is still no more, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he wants to kick the ball, but the body does not obey. Mm -hmm. He wants to run, he wants to do marathon, but then, he cannot do marathon because the, bo the legs, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, the, the mind may always command, you know, run. Yeah. I don't know whether I've been played the soccer as a spectator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just continuously hit as the ball is being hit, you know. That's the mind, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you may think, if I was there, I would have scored that, you know. <laughs> That's how people comment and say. Mm -hmm. So, but then you can be able to understand, even this lame person in his mind, he really wants to do well. He wants to mm -hmm. kick the ball like anybody else. He wants to run marathon like anybody else. Mm -hmm. But then what happens, he cannot do. Why? Because the body does not allow him, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, spiritually, I don't know whether you know one of the, uh, the words that the Apostle Paul engraved in the Bible is that, you know, he said he wanted to do good, but he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. He never, you know, he was still doing the things that he hated, mm -hmm. right? Yeah and did not do the good things that he wanted to do. What does that mean? This is somebody who is lame spiritually, right? Mm -hmm. He wants to do good, but he cannot have that goodness in him mm -hmm. because actually there's no power in him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to do evil, but still he does evil, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a lame person, I don't want to limp, but when I start moving, I will be limping, right? Yeah. But differently from uh, the Apostle Paul, most of the people, they continuously know, focus on themselves in their weakness, in their lacking things, in their shortcomings, mm -hmm. and not able, they are not able to come out of that. But how can we come out of that? Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul, when he was connected together with Jesus, you know, mm -hmm. that connection made him to be perfect. And that's why he said there's no condemnation whatsoever to them that are in Christ Jesus. And that's why he said, you know, uh, actually, he said, God who gave us Jesus Christ, there's nothing else that will not will not give up to us, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, eventually we can see the transition the Apostle Paul is going through from uh, chapter 7. I'm talking now about the spiritual kind of lameness, right? Mm -hmm. Chapter 7 of Romans, chapter 7, mm -hmm. and he goes all over to chapter 8. In chapter 8, you know, verse 1, he says, there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why would they be condemned? Why will they, will they feel as if there's a problem? It's because they are outside of Jesus. But once they are in Jesus, they are perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Okay, Mercy, yeah. do you feel stigmatized in your daily life? No. No. Yeah. And uh, why do you think people feel stigmatized? Maybe they are lame, they have a condition, and they don't feel comfortable. 
I would say uh, the reason why people feel stigmatized is because um, they haven't yet accepted themselves and all they do is think about ule mtu ananiyamanga aje and wananifikirianga aje. I mean it's all it's all in the mind. So um, for you to to feel like yule mtu akiniangalia ni kama ananiangalia vibaya or ananiona ni kama mimi siko sizifanya something like venye anataka ifanywe it's because it's what you ni kenye tu umefikiria you've kept that in mind like lazima lazima kila mtu everywhere ananiangalia kama mimi siwezi i don't feel stigmatized because i i think i'm Perfect, yes. Yeah. I'm normal. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay. Oh, that's yeah. good. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when she said it's all in their mind, I really agree with that. Because mm -hmm. even though people don't really focus on that, mm -hmm. because your mind is telling you continuously you have this problem, you have this problem, you have this problem. Yeah. That's why you end up thinking that everybody is looking at you, is <laughs> looking at your spots and your faults. And you know, you know la the other time, I think it's some years ago, mm -hmm. <coughs> I went in town and uh, I'm sorry, but I was looking at somebody. And that man was having, even though he's a man, but he was having breast, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> they have grown up, you know, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and then continuously my eyes was following him. But then suddenly he was very angry at me and began to rebuke me. Hey, you know, unangalia <laughs> nini <laughs> So I was like shocked, you know. But uh, actually, as she says, as uh, you know, you come to discover this is me, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm not lacking in any way, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, this has happened, but that's not the end of everything, you know. Mm -hmm. There is still, I'm still better and perfectly mm -hmm. made uh, in the eyes of God. With, with mm -hmm. us, such kind of understanding, you know, mm -hmm. you are more than able to discover, and, I mean, to realize yourself and to accept yourself who you are, especially mm -hmm. when you think about God who made you perfect, mm -hmm. just the same as other people, you know. You cannot but, you know, uh, move forward. True. All right. We are going to take a short break, mm -hmm. and uh, we shall continue with our topic of discussion after this break. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. As we continue with our topic of discussion, self-esteem, our SMS line is 21144. Uh, we've been listening from our guest, Mercy, and she's been telling us, of her condition. And now we want to listen from the good book from our pastor. Uh, pastor, yes. um, when God created man, he created a very weak creature. Man is only supposed to rely from God. But after creation, man decided to rely on himself, to believe and trust in himself. And that is why when this man finds something shortcoming. Maybe he's lame, he's lacking, he can only but complain. What is the will of God? Okay, actually complain does not come from God from the very beginning. If we, we have to think about complain come from the heart of Satan. Mm -hmm. um, as you will remember, when Adam was created actually, you know, the Bible speaks and says that both the man and the woman, they were naked, but they were not ashamed. Yes. So in other words, God did not actually say that I'm going to create you perfect, you know. Mm -hmm. God did not say I'm going to create you uh, strong and, uh, you know, uh, outstanding in any way. Because mm -hmm. had God done like that, then he would have also told, told, uh, told man, now you go and do it by yourself. You can mm -hmm. live by yourself. But then man was supposed to rely on God. Mm -hmm. But then... Uh, as Satan began to work in the hearts of men, you know, they cannot rely on God, they cannot depend on God, they want to go their way, right? That's why the Bible speaks and says that cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his arm, yes. right? So there is uh, somebody who is cursed and somebody who is blessed. Now when we talk about man, what do we mean? Whether it's his uh, physical abilities, right mm -hmm. his uh, physical appearance mm -hmm. right yes. whether we speak about his uh, intelligence right mm -hmm. his wit you know 
all the things that are coming from man, his thoughts, ideas, opinions, as long as this is coming from man and when you lie on that, the Bible says you are putting yourself under, under a curse. So the Bible speaks about two people actually in the book of uh, Isaiah. It says like this. <coughs> um, uh, this is very important because actually when people don't understand this, they continuously uh, live a life which does not have anything to do with God in their spiritual life. And uh, once they come to know exactly the true and perfect will of God, for them it's very easy, easy to trust in the Lord God mm -hmm. in their lives. Mm -hmm. So that's why when you check in the book of uh, Jeremiah, right, and uh, verse, uh, chapter 17 actually, uh, the Bible says, that says the Lord. This is God who is speaking. Mm -hmm. Cast be the man that trust in man and make his flesh his arm and whose heart departs from the Lord. Why do they trust in man from the very beginning? Why do they trust in themselves from the very beginning? Why do they you not know, trust in their abilities, their power, their will, th their whatsoever? Mm -hmm. Right? It's because their heart has already departed from, from, from God. God. You know, those people whose heart is together with God, their physical condition doesn't matter in any way. Yeah. Those people who are connected to God, whatever lacking they have, they can entrust themselves into the hands of God. Because actually, who can trust in God? The so perfectly made human being, I think he cannot be trust in God. I mean, so we trust God in what? There's somebody I was talking to the other Sunday, and he was talking about the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> you know, he was talking about, say, in the Lord's Prayer, actually, it says, give us our daily bread, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, I know bread is uh, the word of God. That's the bread of life, right? Mm -hmm. But people are not asking for the, the word of God. They are asking for what? Food. But who can ask for food? He who does not have food, yeah. right? Him, when he goes before God and asking for food, when he doesn't have food, mm -hmm. then he really means it. But you can imagine somebody who has food, who has food, he has everything prepared already. Mm -hmm. He has money in the bank, food in the fridge, food in the store, everything. And then he kneels down and says, I'm asking for the daily bread. Mm -hmm. He seems to be very funny, you know for the things you have, mm -hmm. why would you ask for them again, right? Mm -hmm. But then, even though you have food, let's say you have a sick child. The sick child is not mentioned in the Lord's Prayer, you know. Yes. So you can pray for the sick child. You can pray for, you know, for God's wisdom, you know. You can pray for another thing that you feel you, you don't have. Mm -hmm. And there your prayer will be meaningful. Mm -hmm. And that's why also God said, don't use vain repetitions, you know. So anyway, something very important here, you know, cast the man who does not who trust in man and uh, make us fresh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. Even though I could be having a perfect body, mm -hmm. right? If I still trust in this body that mm -hmm. is trusting in man, I'm really somebody who is under a curse. Okay. For he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabited. But then verse 7 speaks about the blessed man. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't have hope in myself, but the Lord has become my oh, hope. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have any conditions whatsoever mm -hmm. to be blessed, but then my conditions, they are found in Jesus. And because I have Jesus, then I can be blessed regardless of who I am. Look at the lacking people in the Bible, actually. Mm -hmm. you know, whether it's Jacob. Jacob actually was lacking. Yeah. The Bible speaks about Jacob being a smooth man. Mm -hmm. Actually, she was talking <laughs> about uh, <laughs> her condition, right? Yeah. When I was young, when I was uh, in high school especially, mm -hmm. my skin was so smooth. Other boys of my age are growing beard and, you know, <laughs> mustache and, you know. I was wondering, hey, what's wrong with me, <laughs> right? Until I was asking, is there anything that I can take and then I can be like, you know, you see, <laughs> can be like whenever, you know, people see me, they see me as manly, you know. Mm -hmm. By the way, one time I was going in town mm -hmm. and I was seated uh, in Matatu, those Matatu which used to be crowded. Mm -hmm. Then somebody, hey, mama, Ebu Mama Songa, <laughs> 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 they were talking about me. <laughs> then I was like, what do you mean? I'm a man. <laughs> or he said, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> right? So, 
long time <laughs> had it been like long time ago when I was like in high school, this would have been a problem. Mm -hmm. But then it's not a problem to me, right? Mm -hmm. Whether I have a lot of mustache, whether I look manly, you could look manly outwardly, but actually mm -hmm. inside <laughs> you are, you know, you are a chicken, you know. <laughs> so anyway, what I wanted to say is this, you mm -hmm. know, when you are lacking, when you have shortcomings, when our we are we have faults, we have defects in our bodies, mm -hmm. then this becomes conditioning for us to even trust in God even more, right? And I know every single human being, right, mm -hmm. they have to trust in God. Yes. There are many people who are frustrated because they are short. Other ladies may be frustrated because they are not beautiful. You know, there's another young lady who came into my office. When you look at her, she was really beautiful actually. But she was by the time she was 28, mm -hmm. and she was not in marriage yet. So she said, Pastor, I want to ask you, is there anything wrong with me? Mm -hmm. When I see her, she's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But she says, no, I don't have any boyfriend. And you know, I'm 28, I don't have any boyfriend. So I said, no, you never had uh, any experience of meeting somebody who really <laughs> wanted to be in a relationship with you. She said, oh, we start the relationship. One month, two months down the line, they began, begin to tease me and abuse me, and that's why we cannot continue with the relationship. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, there's my parents. They're my parents. They're pushing me out of the house. They're saying, you should get married. You're old enough. What are you doing here? You know, so she was really frustrated, you know. Mm -hmm. Honestly, she's perfectly fine. She can be married. She can be a good mother. But I was telling her, hey, you know, please, you know, don't, mm -hmm. you know, look at yourself. You know, remember God created you perfect. Mm -hmm. And you have to trust in good also, in God also, in you having a good marriage and a better future. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> we didn't finish the fellowship yet. We are still having fellowship together. Mm -hmm. But I want to say like this, mm -hmm. those who are lacking, human beings that are lacking actually, they are meant to rely on God. Mm -hmm. uh, and is, uh, as you know, for example, when you see a cow, the cow does not need months to walk, right? Yes. It's born, pop, pop, you know? Yes. No, they, you know, when you see all other animals, actually, mm -hmm. when they are born, they are perfectly fine. True. But how about a child? You give birth to a child, you abandon the child to himself. I mean, a human being child, right? Mm -hmm. Then they die immediately yes. because they don't have any power, mm -hmm. right? You remember the other mothers who talked about, uh, you know, the babies that are abandoned by their mothers? Yes. You know, they were saying, please, even though you want to abandon your baby, please put clothes on the baby mm -hmm. before you abandon the baby. Mm -hmm. The baby is one year old. I mean, one, one, one day, day old. old, two days old, mm -hmm. right? But you abandon without any clothing. But the animals live without clothing. They are perfectly fine, you know. Sure. Meaning what? We are really people who are weak and lacking, and we need the grace yes. of God always. Yes. You know, we are strong when we look as if we are huge, but before a mosquito, who are we? Right? <laughs> yeah. That means God did not want man actually to rely on himself. Mm -hmm. Had he wanted man to be self-reliant, mm -hmm. then he would have said, okay, fine, I will create you as a strong as a lion. Yes. Even though you live in the jungle, even though you don't put on clothes, even though I don't, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, God really wanted this man weak, lacking, you know. Mm -hmm. When I look at myself, there's no hope whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But then when I look at what God prepared for me in Jesus, mm -hmm. then I can be bold and confident. And this has not been prepared for me mm -hmm. uh, based on the conditions that I have in me, right? Actually, God just wants to give mercy and grace to everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's why all human beings, regardless of who they are, right? Whether they are physically fine or not, whether they are dwarf. I, I've seen, uh, if, I don't know whether you have ever laughed to a dwarf, especially when mm -hmm. you look at them and you continuously look at them, they really get angry, you know? Mm -hmm. But they are perfectly fine people, especially when you have to count the inside man, you know? Of course, we have the outside man, this body. Yes. This body is just like, you know, a shell. Yes. This body outside is not the real man, and that's not the man that actually God wants to address to, mm -hmm. right? So the outside appearance matters less in the eyes of God. Yes. That's why it's very important for us to focus where God focuses as well. Mm -hmm. He doesn't focus on my body, right? Whether I have got acne and pimples all over the body. Mm -hmm. Does this really the, the interest, God is interested in that? I don't think yes. so. God is interested in my heart, you know. And uh, because of that, because of that, 
I can go before God confidently in any mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. You know, I've ever preached the gospel to people, especially when they are lacking and they are poor. Mm -hmm. They say, I cannot come to a church like this. <laughs> like this means what? You know, like this cloth of mine, right? Mm -hmm. At least I should be like this and that. But when you think about the prodigal son, for example, mm -hmm. he came to the father straight away from the pit pen. Yeah. He's dirty, right? Mm -hmm. He's smelling maybe the the dung of the pig, you know. Mm -hmm. He's uh, you know, oh, you know, he's you know, he's hungry as well. Mm -hmm. He's thin. Why didn't he try to you know, say, I'll go to my father after my conditions have changed. Mm -hmm. He just went straight to the father. What does that mean? God wants to receive me in any condition that Maybe I am yeah. in. Mm -hmm. And that's the best condition actually God can expect out of me. Mm -hmm. If I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change my circumstances and my outside appearance, and then I go before God, mm -hmm. I'm very sure this is something that God is not happy and pleased with in me. Mm -hmm. So it's very important when we start to focus not on our body, mm -hmm. but we focus on our heart as we stand before God. That is very interesting. Uh, Mercy, you've listened from our pastor. Mm -hmm. And out there, we are competing to improve our lives, mm -hmm. to better our living. Yeah. And that is why we can only but spend all what we have to improve ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think you can even ever think of your condition after this day? <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now, after this show, now I think the I don't want, I don't. Okay, the pastor said that the ones who believe in the flesh are, are cursed. So I don't want to be <laughs> those that are <laughs> cursed. So I think all I have to do is give thanks to God mm -hmm. and trust in Him and believe in Him. So I don't think I'll ever need to spend money to improve my flesh body, fleshly body. There's something that you said that mm -hmm. you don't look, you don't use a mirror. Yes. And uh, isn't that not despising the creation of God? <laughs> you don't want to see what God created, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I, won't, I wouldn't say that, but I guess it's, I don't like mirrors. You don't <laughs> oh, it is not that you don't want to see your face. It yes. is the mirror that you hate. Yes, I look at myself when I'm walking, like when I'm in the washroom, there are mirrors. So mm. I'll just look at myself, but I won't spend much time just staring in the mirror and do something on my face now. <laughs> All right. Now, okay. using that camera, mm -hmm. I want you to encourage those people who are, they are low esteem because they have coming in their body. They don't have that confidence mm. using that camera. What is your word of encouragement? I would tell them that to have, uh, to improve your self-esteem, all you have to do is believe in yourself and at least try to to give your, yourself some credit and say something like I love, I love me and with that, you'll, you'll see that everything changes. Just one word ch can change everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, so all you have to do is believe in yourself, trust in yourself, and at least gain some self-confidence. I wanted you to tell them to believe in God, mm -hmm. not <laughs> to believe in themselves. Oh. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor, we can't finish without your parting word. Okay, fine. You know, I wanted to say like this, actually, God uh, is everything for us. Why am I saying so? Regardless of whatever shortcomings, lacking things, deficiencies that I have, as long as I'm together with God, then I have everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only problem that maybe occurs outside here is because many people are disconnected to God. That's why they can see themselves as if they are lacking, as if they have shortcomings and limitations. Mm -hmm. And of course, they will be now comparing themselves with other people. Mm -hmm. He has this, I don't have this, but we are not created to compare ourselves with other people. Mm -hmm. We are created to receive the grace of God, all of us, and continuously, regardless of who I am. Actually, I'm very sure, I'm very sure that even some of the people who could be having all conditions to be happy, but they are miserable, 
And there are others who don't have any conditions to be happy, but once they are connected to God, mm -hmm. they are happy, they are thankful, and they live a blessed life. And I live on that, you know, all of us, we can be blessed people as we live trusting and relying on God in our lives. Thank you so much. Thank you. Matthew, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and welcome. I really appreciate that you can come and share with us what you have gone through and what you have overcome. God yeah. bless you so much. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for the good advice. And truly, I'm encouraged that it is th the blessing that I receive does not come from me. I have nothing to do with my blessings. They all come from God. So be it, I'm lame, I have a condition, I'm lucky. That is not a problem to me. It all depends on God. If only that we can rely and trust in this God, our conditions mean nothing. Chungu Chajami is aired every day, Monday to Friday at 11 a.m. Take care. God bless you. Till next time and bye-bye. Well,